Ega! Big Ben Ega! Ega disses out another bagel, ladies and gentlemen. What is that, like number 38, 39, 40, if I don't know. Going back to last season, too many. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, Barbora Kachikova injured, calling for a medical timeout. That's right, unserved in the second set. Heather Watson trying to stay alive here after the double break in the first set. Ouch. Barbora is in pain. This does not look good, ladies and gentlemen. Calls for the physio. The physio has to determine what type of injury it is. Then we'll have three minutes to treat it. But is that enough? Look at the facial expressions on Barbora. Whoa, she's in pain. This does not look good. The physio is just kind of feeling around on that ankle, lower leg. And Barbora is just in pain. This does not look good. Looks a little swollen as well. Wow, she's going to get wrapped up here, and we're going to see if she can finish this match. This does not look good, but right now, I mean, she's got four aces. She's serving well, two double faults, struggling to get her first serves in play, but she's winning about 70% of them for the most part of the match. That number has uh, dipped a little bit. Two for five on break points. Heather Watson has been serving a lot better lately. I'm pleased to see that. Putting up several aces. Now, she's the wild card, and I expect her to get into Wimbledon as long as he's a professional, either through the draw or wild card or even a lucky loser for that matter. But the reality here is Heather Watson should be a lot higher in the rankings, guys. That's right. She was robbed of her points at Wimbledon last year after that amazing run. She's had epic battles with Serena Williams here. Look, let her in every year. I don't care how she gets in. She needs to be in the draw. But only winning 62% of her first serves, 50% of her second serves. Hasn't been able to convert the opportunities to break Barbora. She's had them, but cannot convert them. Is Barbora in trouble here? Stay tuned. Tennis in a minute.